Sean Mendez. Hey. How are you, babe? Good, really good. Okay, I have to ask you this. You sing such amazing songs about love. At 19, do you actually know what love is? No, I know nothing about love. For real? Yeah. Interesting. So how can you sing about it? It's just all what... Look, I think love uh, is a forever changing learning thing. Like, no, you know, even if you're 80 years old, you're still kind of learning about what it is. Um, because you can not know about it, but experience it and, th and sing about it. But I, I know do nothing. You do that so well. Thank you, but I know nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You should try listening to the lyrics of one of your own songs because the guy oh, really? singing in that is like. He knows what he's talking he about? Knows what he's talking okay, about. cool, I will. Um, you've said that you're excited to feel heartbreak so you can write about it. Are you warning anyone that you go on a date with that you hope that they break up with you so that you can experience heartache? <laughs> I didn't think about it that much. <laughs> but um, yeah, totally. I think that'll be one of my best albums. <laughs> Why do you want to experience heartbreak? I, I guess like in some sort of weird way, as a writer of music, I think it would be really interesting to, to see what happens. Are those the best love songs, the ones that are about sadness and heartbreak, I think in your so. opinion? I think so. I think, think about your favorite love songs, and they're usually those ones. Love is a battlefield. <laughs> love is a battlefield. <laughs> um, when you're as famous as you are, um, is it hard to approach people at events or parties that you want to meet or talk to? Is there someone that you really wanted to talk to and now regret? being shy is it hard it's yeah I guess it's hard I guess it's hard when you're not famous to just go up and talk to people but I had the option I had the opportunity to, to go up and say hi to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle but I I didn't yeah I know I really messed up what would you have said I would have just said hi I love you guys <laughs> <laughs> but other than that I mean I don't know what happened I got super scared because the thing is you know they know who you are Hopefully, I was super. I just got so starstruck, and I, I don't really get starstruck like that. But that was one particular moment when I walked into the room, and then I had to walk out. So, like how I feel around you usually. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you ever sit and say to yourself, "Man, I could cut my hair and sell it, or pick my nose, and someone would actually buy my boogers?" Follow up: How much would you sell your boogers for? I don't say that. People always say that. <laughs> How much would I sell my boogers for? I wouldn't sell my boogers. That's just completely demeaning to whoever's buying them. How much would you sell my boogers for? How much would I sell your? Yeah. Well, if it's like a big piece, then yeah. probably like $400. Really? Yeah. I wonder if it's clonable boogers. No, there's no there's no DNA in boogers. But if there is, then you'd probably have to sell it for a little bit more. I'd have a Mendez Jr. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and when you're touring and you're tired and you may not have packed enough clothes, has there ever been a time when you've said F it and wore the same underwear twice? 100%, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody, everybody's done that. Yes! Right? Yeah. yeah you, so you have. Yeah, totally. Now? Not right, not today. <laughs> in life, yeah, okay. not today. Um, when, you're exi when you're exiting an airport or store and you know you're about to be photographed, um, what is the conversation like moments before with your people? Do you have to check your hair? Do they tell you, uh, remind you how to walk? Like, because there's pictures <laughs> of you at the Toronto airport. I'm wondering, does look, somebody Do I look talk like I'm a good you? walker? You do. Thank you. But is there any Practice conversation just before and like, okay, here's what's going to happen. There no, are not really. I think you don't even see them, to be honest with you. It's, they're, they're really, it's, I, don't even, I didn't even know there was a person at the airport. And then you wake up and there's photos of you. You don't see them. These sneaky guys with super long lenses are just like capturing you from afar. So you're constantly always smiling then? Yeah, I guess I'm just always smiling. Okay, BTS, what is the latest on the collaboration? Uh, have you any lyrics yet? With for BTS? Yes. Latest on the collaboration, they're, they're hard, they're hard group to get with. You know, mm -hmm. they're busy people. Um, I have no lyrics on their collaboration yet. But, but it's it, happening. It, it, it'll happen. For Promise. sure. Yeah. Okay. Promise. Soon. When? I can't give you a date because we don't. We we haven't hung out and wrote a song yet, but it will happen because I love them and I think that they're they're fans too. So I promise. Now you, again, only nineteen. Most people at your age spend time with their with family, you know, and spend a lot of time with family. But when you're touring as much as you do, do you miss being around family? How do you cope with it? Uh, do you ever feel lonely and cry yourself to sleep? <laughs> All the time. Um, no, no, I, I FaceTime is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And I FaceTime my, my, my mom, my sister, my dad all the time. I was home yesterday for Father's Day. So I think a lot of, even when you're traveling, a lot of the, you know, seeing your family comes down to effort of, of actually calling them and talking to them, you know? Okay, and when are you gonna shed this nice guy image and turn into a badass sex symbol who gets into trouble a lot? 
how many years do I have? I thought it was like a five fifth year thing. I'm only on year four. Okay. So I'm asking you. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I had to at least be doing it for five years before I, I could do that. So, so you you want to do that though because you're too nice. Yeah, of course. There's no. Uh, this is the only option. And there's one route, and it's to just ruin my reputation and become a dick. <laughs> That's where, and that's where I'm at. I can't wait. Yeah, it'll be um, good. Last, last question before we play our usual game. Yeah. Uh, your song, In Your Blood. Yeah. It's the first song outside of Halloween about blood. Yeah. Had, when you sing that, what do you think is, like, what is in the blood? The, in, the, in the blood. I mean, the, te- the song. Have you thought about the physical blood? The fi- in, the, in my physical blood? Because what is it that I you're hoping no is, what are you singing about in the blood? I'm saying that in my blood is not. <laughs> is not substance to give up, it, which but is substance, but substance to push forward. Literally, just blood. Yeah. Okay. And we all have it. Yeah.